So you want to know how to add images inside your contact form 7 emails, then you're in the right place because in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to edit. It's very simple and it's going to take you just a few minutes. Before we move to the content, I just want to let you know that here at WP Society, we create WordPress tutorials. So if you want to learn more about WordPress, smash the like, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's go add images into our contact form. And we are now inside my computer. As you can see, we are inside my contact form 7, contact form. And then we're going to go into the mail. I assume that you know a little bit about contact form 7 if you're watching this uh, slightly advanced tutorial. Just to remind you, this mail form here is mail template that is usually used as a notification email. The one that this is the one that is being sent to owner of the website, as you can see. And it contains the information from the default form itself. Uh, to allow HTML content type and images inside an email, all you have to do is just tick on use HTML content type. Now, this is for notification email. And if you want to add image here, you will just create a space and you will create image HTML tag. And here we're gonna put the link to the image itself. Also, if you want to add autor autoresponder email, then you have to activate mail to option in a contact form seven. So if we activate mail to option, we, got, we get this mail to template, which is used at autoresponder and down below we have to activate again use html content type and now this is something which we're gonna use for uh, autoresponder email which actually goes out after submission to the person that has submitted the form what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna just go to wordpress society website and then i'm gonna copy paste two different images one for autoresponder one for a notification email so copy image address then I'm going to go to the form and I'm just going to paste this inside notification email. So in the notification email, we're going to send them this here logo and it's going to have a white background, obviously. But in an autoresponder email, we might can send this just so it's different. So we're going to go here and we're going to do Okay, let's let's do a little change because it makes no sense to autoresponder their email to send them their own message. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna create hi, and then we wanna add their name. Your name has not been used, and that's a, your name is actually. If we go here to form, you can see that your name is the name of the tag of their name. So if we we can use it here to make a beautiful autoresponder email. So you're gonna say hi, their name, comma, we have received your message one of our experts will be in touch with you shortly. Regards, WP Society. Beautiful. And now we're gonna add, we're gonna copy paste this HTML code and then we can actually add maybe this one or I, I actually have an idea. We're gonna copy paste this footer um, logo image and then we're gonna Check it in here and why is that? So what we're gonna do now quickly, we're gonna actually add a styling here. So just after the link itself, write style and then equals and we're gonna do background color 666 and semicolon. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna save and this here email template one will be triggered as a notification email and email Two will be triggered as a autoresponder email. We're gonna put the name Spiro and an email is spiro.kovac at jahoo.com. So both emails are gonna go to uh, this one, but we will see a difference between the notification and, uh, and, and autoresponder email. And then title and your message. And now we're gonna send. And if we go over and refresh here, you're gonna see that this is the notification email. If we go back to contact form and we follow, you'll see that it is from Spiro subject message, your message. 
and then header logo image, right? While autoresponder email looks slightly different, as you can see, it has a message, hi Spiro, we have received your message. One of our experts will be in touch with you shortly. And that's actually following this mail to template. And it is using a background that we have set earlier in this tutorial. And that's pretty much it, guys. I want to ask you one more question. Would you like to know how to create a full-time passive income online, quit your nine to five and earn your freedom, which is what I'm doing right now? Check the link below in the description of this video right now. And I'm going to show you my number one most recommended opportunity online. So go check that link right now and I'll get that information to you right away. Also, if you found this video useful, make sure you comment in the description below because it helps this video reach more people. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any new videos and I'll make sure to see you again. Cheers, have a good day.